his prudence, sacrificed with his head uncovered by his toga, according to the Greek rite. He sacrificed a young heifer to the divine Mater as a partially burnt sacrifice. The victim, chosen for her perfection, ritually cleaned and adorned, was led in a procession to the altar. There the praetor spoke the following prayer. He said, Magna Mater, as it is prescribed for you in those Sibylline books, and for this reason may every good fortune attend the Roman people. After this prayer, the praetor offered wine and incense at the altar of the goddess, that she may drink with us and breathe the scents that we breathe. Then the young heifer assented to become the sacrifice to Magna Mater, when she nodded her head after Junius Brutus anointed her with wine and sacred meal called Mola Salsa. The slaves standing by killed the heifer with her own permission, and her blood flowed hot and thick from her wounds. The fat and bones of the heifer have been burned upon the altar, and a ritual feast from the willing heifer has been prepared for us all to enjoy. But first, as been, has been written for this festival, our priestesses will read Catullus, poem 63. Super alta vectus atis, celerirate maria, frigium ut nemis citato cupide pede tetigit, aditque opaca silvis redimita loca dei, stimulatus ibi ferenti rabiae, vagus animis de vulvit ile acuto sibi pandera silicae. Born in a swift bark over deep seas. So this is the drawing that Kurt Trout did for the drop for the production of Pseudolus at Illinois Wesleyan, and this is what they're making. With three doors, one for the pimp Balio, one for Simo, and his neighbor. With some graffiti on the walls, and the brothel door is ajar, since brothels are always open. And they are making the templates on plain brown paper, which will be transferred to the actual drop, which is on the floor here, getting its base cut. Do you see the highlighted stones? Okay, That's obviously going to be either some type of sponging, or dry brushing, or stippling, once we have everything cartooned. There's a lot of cut lines here that have to be accomplished. Y'all, that makes sense? And once we start the deal, with real um, things that are drawn, then we will start to deal with the, the true cast shadows because in this scale, getting the cast shadows exactly right is pretty near impossible. Six inches. I only need like a foot and a half just to make sure I don't, I don't need a tooth. Okay. Absolutely. You got it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> you right. keep, and we want to keep that and that. So I'm erasing. Yeah. yeah. Now, once you get that done, what I'm going to want you to do is to paint in the whole thing. Otherwise, it will show up, you know, as a textural problem. So paint that whole rectangle in the solid. I just really like this one a lot.